uh, the main factor affecting uh, those water soluble vitamins, the, the B vitamins uh, and uh, vitamin C, is the mother's intake of those in the diet uh, and also her stores where there are stores. So for vitamin B12, there are stores in the body. And so she needs to build up those stores also early in uh, before pregnancy, during pregnancy and so on. And that will really affect what comes out in the milk. And then for those that are not stored, how much she eats during lactation uh, is very important. Yeah, they all behave differently, but mostly they're much higher in colostrum uh, in the, you know, just in the first few days postpartum and then fall. Um, so something like um, vitamin B12 falls maybe to a fifth of what it is in the first few days um, uh, in about a week or, or less. And then most of them are fairly flat after the first month postpartum. But the first, during the first months is when they really fall from the early levels. Uh, the answer is yes, they should be supplemented. Uh, it would be much better if they had good diets going into pregnancy and throughout pregnancy, as well as during lactation, uh, because the effects on breast milk are not as huge as we would like them to be in the case of where intakes are low. Only a few percent of the supplement dose gets into the milk but it is enough to make a difference to, have, to, to meeting the baby's requirements. So long, small amounts is better than big doses during lactation. <music>